Well, it's not a bad start to the day. A little drum. Something. That's something. At least there's hope. All right, so far, two drum, one little sheep. I wonder if you'd call this a lamb, a little sheep, a little sheep head, you call it a lamb. Baby. I'd like to get some keeper sheep or actually some keeper drum. That's what I'm aiming for. It's just not happening right now. Uh, it's a little slow, but I think the tide's getting ready to turn around here in a little bit. Uh oh. Finally got a trout. Yeah. Skinny. Long. Lord, what a skinny trout. Woo. Needs to get on the meal plan. <laughs> Give him something to eat. Oh, uh, here's something. There we go. A drum. Wow. Another drum. But another small one. I may have to leave early anyway. Um, I got a call. And it seems pretty serious. It seems like uh, they've been trying to contact me about my car's extended warranty. Um, I don't know what that's about. It sounded really bad, so I may have to leave early. I, I don't know. I had no idea. That's, I don't know about y'all. I get those calls like every day. They're very persistent. Very persistent in that scam, whatever that scam is. That's one of the funny things that I've seen it on Facebook several times. Where they say, now if you break down on the side of the road, don't call me because I know you've been getting those calls about your extended warranty and you should have had that took care of. So uh, if you break down on the side of the road, don't call me because those people have been contacted. They've been trying to warn you, they've been trying to let you know that your warranty needs something, some kind of attention. So um, don't ask me for help. Well, just had one get off, guys. Very disappointing. Yeah, last night, me and my wife decided to uh, eat some crab. Crab claws, you know, because it was Valentine's Day. So we're like, hey, let's do this live on Facebook, you know. Because Facebook people like the live videos, so for her channel. So anyway, we start doing the uh, thing, and uh, <laughs> apparently there was like one part of the crab claws that Tammy don't eat that is edible. Uh, and to be honest with you, I grew up in the mountains. I never ate crab until. Tammy talked me into doing it a few years back, so I don't know anything about it. And when we went to eat when I was a kid, I can assure you it was not to uh, anywhere that had crab. Yeah, but anyway, that's just from where I grew up. But what was so funny is because uh, there was one part that, that she didn't know about, apparently that had meat in it, 
they were just going nuts though because the, the way they do on Facebook. And so um, <laughs> the crab, the crab police were out. Uh, the crab call Karen, Karens were out. But anyway, um, <laughs> they they called me, and I have never been called this. But somebody came on there and said that we were landlubbers, L-U-B-B, yeah, lubber, landlubbers. And uh, the other stuff didn't bother me, but I was like, you know, I'm not a landlubber. I've spent tons of time out on the water. Just hadn't, just because I didn't grow up eating crab, crab legs. <laughs> so I was like, landlubber? Whoa. Oh, and everybody was like, you know, acting like they were um, professional, like they were on Deadliest Catch or something. They knew everything there was to know about it. <laughs> and one lady said something about that her dad was some kind of, did something for a living that had something to do with the ocean, you know, so she knew all about it. And I was thinking, well, you know, my dad was a, uh, Worked as a parts clerk for, uh, you know, semi trucks and stuff like that his whole life, and I don't know a daggone thing about parts. So just because your dad did it doesn't mean doesn't just automatically make you an expert. I just thought I'd throw that out there because I don't know anything about what he did. Uh, but anyway, it was fun. You know, it lit up. It lit up when. Uh, she let him know that she didn't know this one part was edible. Hold on, look, man. Sorry, just trying to eat something in my house. <laughs> it, was, it was so funny. <laughs> but that's the way Facebook is. Those people go crazy on Facebook. That's why I stick with YouTube. You don't get as many of the uh, people that feel like they have to tell you. You know, that's why everybody fusses about Facebook, uh, you know, and saying, well, they, they, uh, you know, and it's like about them censoring things. Well, I can guarantee you my channel is censored. <laughs> I censor the crap out of comments. Are you put anything about me that I don't like? I'm taking it off. Are you put anything on there I don't like? I'm taking it off. I'm censoring. I probably censor more than Facebook does. My shrimp's gone. I'm gonna have to censure this next part out. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed the crab leg, the crab legs, but my God, you would have thought we spit on the grave of Jacques Cousteau or something like that. I need a keeper drum, guys. Can y'all hook me up with a keeper drum? It's crazy. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Uh, white trout. I call these white trout. I think they call them something different here. Yellow mouth trout or weak fish or something. So if I if I said that wrong, don't uh, don't get that on me like y'all did with the crab legs. Go again. Another small. Yeah, somebody said they don't. They must not know much about seafood. And we don't, but we're real good at making biscuits and cornbread and fried chicken, such as that. Another small. I wouldn't mind catching a few keeper of these. I need to expand my seafood. 
collection in the refrigerator. Man, just another one. 